Vancouver. Mais la vérité, c'est pas trop. Had the SBC, laissez saine en alaye al attaqui, and that means in Arabic, this SBC is not too bad at all. And what's happening, boys? And welcome to the 82 Europa League live item Yusuf Atal, the oh, SBC yeah, yeah, that yeah. goes for 25,000 coins, not even, uh, goes for about 25,000 coins, uh, and has shipped alongside five other cards, including the highest rated being the Abamyang. You've got a Renato Sanch who goes for about a million coins right now. We have that Diaby card who looks really, really good, and we have ourselves that Bruno Perez that fills a need not only for uh that not only serves a need for Brazilian wing backs, uh, but also gets us a cheeky wing back that we can use in the city. So all in all, I think a pretty good set of live items, but for me, the star of the day was this Yusuf Atal, who we got, I believe, as a spur a first special card, was a left winger last year, even though he shipped as a right back, and then his foot miss card went back to right back or right winger. I can't remember, but by the end of the year, he had a shapeshifter card that was a striker, just one of the most one of the most storied cards that we've ever used uh, on the channel. And uh, today I thought we would take a look at this 82 uh, Europa League Nice live item Atal. Now it needs to be noted that the group that they're in right now, I believe they're in third place. So it's not a guarantee that they're going to get out of the group. I think there's a few uh, few more matches left. Uh, but even at 25,000 coins, the four star skill moves, the five star weak foot, and some of the other stats that you get in here, given that we don't have a propensity of very, very good wing backs uh, in Liga. And 82 Yusuf Atal is a welcome to uh, and if he did get himself an upgrade, it would be massively, massively appreciated. So I've suddenly turned into the biggest Nice fan, even though I'm w wearing a Lille kit. I've turned into a massive, massive Nice fan. So what do you get with this card? You get 95 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. Not too bad at all. Not too Javi Alonso at all. Oh my God. 95 acceleration, 94 sprint speed, which you don't need to jack off at all. The attacking stats, again, this is a card who is not close to being really club 80, but he's got the ridiculous pace, and then he's actually even got some shooting. His finishing goes up over over 90 with the uh, finisher chem style. His passing stats are pretty uh, are adequate for his position, and then we get to the dribbling where he got a massive upgrade, 117 total in-game stat upgrade across all the stats, uh, and he goes ahead and he gets up to 94 agility with 99 dribbling if you put the finisher on him and again it was the theme of the epi yesterday we tried the davies out we put a finisher on him and there's just something about the finisher that gets those stats mass maximally jacked off and the fact that it feels good especially in the 352 if you have like a left back or right back that you're using as a left mid or right mid um like a alfonso davies um it feels good being able to use them and i think with the 79 interceptions uh, 79 interceptions and of course if you're going to use them as a true right back i think you can uh, you can maybe put a catalyst or something else on him uh that gives him that boosts his defending stats a little bit more but i don't think we need anything more than this 72 strength 80 stamina and then 82 aggression has the outside the foot shot and flare trait so for an 82 rated those are very very, very, uh, those are very, very impressive stats to have. And again, only 25,000 coins for a card that has a chance at getting upgraded. So I wonder if he's so cheap, not only because it's off nationality and sort of not really off league, but given that they don't have the most clear cut path to getting an upgrade. So I wonder if that plays into it at all. Again, we're going to run the 352. I'm going to bring our Yarza ball back on in, uh, as my cam. And then we are actually going to take off, um, uh, the guy who's going to be coming off is this Fairhat. The only reason we have him in there is to get him on 100 chem. I actually didn't know if I wanted to run Koscielny, so we don't even actually need uh, Fairhat. We could run whoever we want. Um, are there any are there any right mids in Ligue 1? Angel Di Maria's ultimate scream card? Okay, well, I guess that just happened. Uh, we've got ourselves a cheeky Angel Di Maria. Now this, suddenly, now this has suddenly become a little bit of a party. Um, okay, so I wonder if we... Yeah, yeah, you know what? Let's do this. Sorry, uh, Thomas Muller will come off for Oryarzabal. Okay, hey, let's do that. Damn, dude. Dude, the Epi took a... So we're doing an Angel Di Maria player's way view as well. Match number one, vamos. Alright, so the first thing I want to... The first thing I want to test out... Let's see, Atal. Oh my god, dude. He's got the four-star five... Oh, he does... Does he do the techno dribbling? Oh my god. Benj 
Yeder. Bueno, Marito, ahí tenemos talento ofensivo. Y seguramente lo va a hacer. The pegue puede ser. Why is the 3-5-2? Why are my 3-5-2 guys always caught out? I had the same issue yesterday. It's so susceptible to the counter. I have it on two depth and everyone on stay back while attacking. What is going on right now, dude? Kimi. Maneja la pelota y se acerca al arco rival. Esto puede terminar un gol. Gol. Not too bad at all. Yusuf Atal, yalla habibi. Oh, merhaba, shukran. What an absolute psycho math lad. That's two, dude, that's three. That was three body feints executed in short succession, bro. And look at Ben Yedz coming back on the fence, dude. Atal's the kind of guy that inspires other players to, uh, to rise to the occasion as well. No. Ref Referee. There we go. That's a pen. Yusuf Atal. He's so slippery. The only thing he can do is uh, is try to take him out. All right. So who do we got? We've got uh, Vison Ben Yedder. Our yards ball's got pens. We're going to go to this way school of pens. We're going to switch to the other player. He's going to think I'm going left or right because I'm taking so much time. Go right. These are not the droids you're looking for. Got him. All right, so we're going to switch Gnabs and Davies because obviously <laughs> that's obviously what we have to do. Not too bad at all, bro. He's the Algerian Swiss Army Knife. I'm pretty sure we had an epi over the course of the last couple of years and we literally, I think we titled it the, uh, the Algerian Swiss Army Knife. Golly, dude. And you want to know what the best part is? We add Marez, he gets one special card. This pri this card, easy to get him on seven or eight chem with literally just that one player. There's Atal again. Not even, he's not even that position and he's making, uh, he's making defensive plays. There's Ben Yedz. Atal again. And yeah, 117 total in-game stud upgrade. Easily the best, um, I would argue, easily the best wingback in the in uh, in Ligue 1. Maybe outside of a guy not named Florenzi. Okay, well, real neck, real, real recognize real. You have a five-star... Five star weak foot mad lad on the right side, and then you've got a five star uh, skiller mad lad as our left striker with the left foot. And um, Angel Di Maria picking up where he left off last year. I believe he had a man of the match item last year that we absolutely loved. He's one of those cards where you really don't mind too much about the uh, the, the, the the weak foot. Angel Di Maria. Ben Yedder. Pase interceptado. Bro, referee, don't you dare. Wait, is he calling it on Neuer? All right, fair play. It was outside the box though, right? I'm pretty sure that one was outside the box. Come on, son. Ben Yedder. Tiene que intentar cruzarla. That's out on him. Nice. Bro, Yusuf Atal's dribbling is cracked. Here we go, Lawrence. Just the movement, it's gotta make me so mad. It makes me so mad! I wanna watch, I wanna see, I wanna watch that back. 
Qué, ya, ya, ya. Qué mala suerte. Qué mala. Si lo hace, lo gana. Qué bien se la han quitado. Ahora puede respirar. Let's say you won Fonzie Davis. Parte del cole. Gol gana y se viene el ataque. Holder Zabal. Acá con el tragada. Acaba de evitar el gol. No, I'm not. I can't play another. I can't, I can't play another game after that. That's it. I'm, I'm not playing. No, I'm not playing another game after that. I, I can't play another game after that, dude. Yusuf Atal, he goes and gets his own goal. He gets 16 out of 10, 22 dribbles completed. He wins both of his tackles. He was absolutely incredible for us. But, I mean, it was all for naught because this guy comes back and he scores a goal in probably the most trash fashion that I've ever seen in my entire life. How, Mangal, the fact that we have it listed as an own goal is just not fair, okay? The ball comes in, it hits the crossbar, you know, I really wish in this instance I could have taken over and manual saved that. How about a shout out for Angel Di Maria? Getting past one player, having such crazy agility. Who is that? Piszczek? Didn't... Almost megged him, but Piszczek just doesn't have the awareness. Wait, is that Piszczek or Klosterman? Klosterman. Gets through Klosterman because his dribbling is so nuts. Little body faint around whichever defender that is. And then Angel Di Maria with the left foot of dreams. Pop! I, I should have won that 3-2 and just what happened there towards the end with arguably the best keeper in the game is just unexplainable to me. So, uh, in terms of value, I'm going to give this one 20, even at 25,000 coins. We're not really sure what Nice's chances are of coming out of the group, but I'm going to give it a four and a half out of, uh, four and a half of five, four and a half out of five in terms of value. In terms of on the pitch performance, I'm going to give it a four to five. You guys already know what it is. Plays pretty much exactly nearly identical to what he played as, uh, last year in terms of his special cards. Uh, and now we have ourselves a, uh, an 82 upgraded Europa League live item, um, Yusuf Atal, who, if if Nice managed to get through, again, I'm the biggest Nice supporter right now in the world. If they get through, he sees himself go up to an 84 rated card. So very, very excited uh, to possibly see him get that. So four star, four star skill moves, five star weak foot, bunch of really good stats. I think finisher is uh, finisher is an interesting option to throw in the card if you guys are just trying to have a well bounced and even maybe even try uh, to play him at winger. And the cool thing about this card is you don't need to get the pace stats jacked off because they're fast enough already. But uh, that's gonna do it for the episode, you boys. Smash like if you guys did enjoy. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below i will catch you guys for another uh for another epi tomorrow gonna be streaming on twitch later tonight so pop on over if you guys want to uh see some objectives and some stuff get done um but yeah i will catch you guys for the stream catch you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time boys choose later ade